Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for the week starting the 4th of July. Now, hopefully, Aries, you've managed to pull yourself together after last week's tumultuous emotional roller coaster. For you, it might have been quite tough last week in that you had to confront some of your deepest vulnerabilities and fears. Now, I always say that our vulnerability is our strength, and if we can confront that, basically we can do anything. Nobody can hold anything over us, there is nothing to fear, and once we face our vulnerabilities, usually they're not as frightening as we think, and it's like a big release. So this week, the good news is that the planets are supporting you further to step into your beautiful and gentle power. We have Mercury, the planet of communication, and that's in the fifth house, and it's trining Uranus in Aries. So Uranus is all about unpredictability and a sense of being spontaneous, and you're feeling much more confident about what you've got to say. Perhaps through expressing your vulnerability, you allowed yourself to find your deepest inner truth, and that's excited you. Now, coupled with that, we also have a lovely little aspect to Saturn in your seventh house, and that's because your ruler, Mars, is also trining Saturn in the seventh, and you're like, oh, I'm feeling a bit more confident about taking action. And you're able to really be passionate and express your passion in quite a grounded way. You might be tempted, though, to make a commitment to someone and make sure that you're not just feeling so generous of spirit that you're saying yes to everybody through the kindness of your love and your big heart. You're leaping in, making all sorts of promises that later on you might not be able to keep, which will mortify you because you never like to let people down. But you're just spontaneous in the moment. You're full of love in the moment and you want to make commitments. But they've got to be the right ones, not only for other people, but most importantly for you. You matter in this. You are a golden soul. And it's great that you want to run around being a hero. But last week should have taught you that it's very important to receive and to find a balance within yourself. Now, because Saturn's in the seventh house, it's, you're looking at your commitments and your responsibilities. And if you're single, you might find yourself craving a kind of really deep relationship and you don't want anything that's just a, a roll in the hay or a bit of a fling. You want to open up your heart and dig some foundations and you're passionate about that. Now, obviously, our relationships with other people stem from our relationship with ourselves. And the joy for you this week is you're feeling much more confident, much more grounded and able to embrace the world from a very strong inner core. Have a stunning week and I'll speak to you soon.